Hello everyone, welcome to new Vue.js 3 tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to get start with Vue.js 3. So Vue.js 3 is an upgradation version to Vue.js 2. So it is a little bit different. But if you have followed my previous tutorial on Vue.js 2, then it would be very easy for you to migrate yourself into Vue.js 3. So let's carry on with Vue.js 3. So let's start with the starting template. Today we will uh, uh, surely cover all the basic things which are different from Vue.js 2 and how it made a difference to us and we would uh, all adapt us to those changes. So let's get started with the tutorial. So today is the title is the starting with Vue.js 3 and the description is like in this tutorial we will add Vue.js 3 inside an HTML page. That means installation and render the component on front end. We will make a counter app to understand the same plus we will understand all the basic differences and we will be able to differentiate ourselves with all those things using UJSP. So first, this is a VS Code editor. It has an index1.html file and it I'll rename this file as index1.js. So it has two files. One is index1.html and index1.js. Now what we can do, we can add a bootstrap a starter template to our uh, HTML page for an easy start so it would be a quick start for us so you can simply move to this link bootstrap 5 then start inside the starter template you can directly click on copy and click on paste here okay so then we will be able to run this page and if, uh, like we what we can do we can uh, like this we can reveal in file explorer and when we move to file explorer we can copy this path and we can move to our browser and we can uh, paste it here and inside that we have a to folder tutorial one or you can uh, click on index1.html and this would open the page and let's okay by mistake i'm really sorry i had copied this instead in index1.js so let me remove this now i'll save this yeah so index one.html has been and I'll refresh this page. So here you can see the, the template has started. Now I will remove the title to learn view three, three and index one. So this would be the title and I can move this comments. And what we'll do then simply I'll remove this heading and now this looks perfectly fine. What I'll do, I'll add view JS three so this script has been added so i can copy this script and add it here and then i refresh the page and i click on inspect so this would give me inspect and console here you can see you are running a development build of view so make sure to run production this would ensure that view has been installed perfectly fine now what we can do we can create a simple app and first we would also add the index one.js script also script is equal to source is equal to index one dot js and then i can close this tag sorry sorry for the mistake yeah now i can close this tag and inside this i can do console dot log script started so this would be perfectly fine when i refresh this page so here you can see the console.log statement has started script started so perfectly fine now what we can do now we can add a view js3 component so for that what we need to define we need to define a component and then we would render that component on the front end so let's start how we can define so uh, it would have two things one is the data and another is the methods so this is uh, like this is very much same and how we did in the or like how we used to do that in the uh, view 2 also but this time we are going to mount the component okay so okay i'll just show you how you do that so what you can do you can make constant okay before that what you can do you create a div here inside a body div id is equal to my app okay now you let this div be as it is 
okay now what you can do you can do constant my app component component is equal to this is a json object okay now what you can do you can do a uh, constant my app is equal to view dot create view dot create app okay and inside this you can put my app component dot mount so this time we are going to mount and we would give the id of my app so let's move to the page and then refresh it and you have successfully mounted this component so when i click here my app so here you can see a component has been seen okay so this is an empty component we have not ensured anything inside that but just an empty component so i was showing you how we like in view 2 we used to define the element inside the el tag that element we are referring so we need to define the id or a class but here now we mount the component using this syntax that is view dot create app my app dot component and mount the component and we store it inside inside a variable my app and by default my app component this is my app component and the id my app is, is as the same name is as my app so that we, we so the view component so that it doesn't create any confusion to you now the second different here we come is the data this time a data is a constructor so so that we render the data as on 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 construction that is on initialization so it is like a pre data construction for us and then we return an object for the data and this this time we return a count is equal to 0 and inside this what we do we make a button okay or we simply print the value of count so this would be an easy task for us and let's refresh the page and see so here we can see the count is 0 and we have a 0 also so perfectly fine okay and now what we can do we can make this count inside a button you call me you call this button count times so you call this button zero times when we click on it nothing happens okay and we create another button okay before we do that let's call some method so methods we call again methods so methods is a json object good and we call a method increment and this time what we call this dot count plus equal to one perfectly fine okay now on this click click functionality this should be at the rate click is equal to increment increment okay now we refresh the page okay now we refresh the page and what we observe that when we click you click this button one times four times five times eight times and nine times ten times eleven times now for the same what we can do we can create a reset button at the rate click is equal to reset and you can type reset for the same we need to define a reset method and this time it says this dot count is equal to zero so perfectly fine and when we refresh the page you call me one time two times three times and when i click on reset it turns out to be zero again back to zero then i click on it and it reset then it turns a reset now what i can do here i'll show you one thing i'll click on this like i've clicked this on 15 times now i refer to my app dollar data please uh, look at the console on the right side uh, data dot count it turns out to give out to be the value of 15 and when i call my app dot increment okay so okay sorry for the mistake my app dot increment 
so it says function increment okay now what you can do uh, uh, you can call my app this is a function reset okay so here you can tell you can also look at the functions and the count from here so this is a very good way a nice way to call the functions and this is how we uh, call the uh, we can have a look at them okay so this is for all this much tutorial so thank you guys for watching the tutorial so the, it was the main motive was to show that you can access the data count and the function from here so this is how i wanted to show you thank you guys for watching this tutorial so i'll catch you up in the next tutorial thank you everyone